Hi everyone, how's it going? This is gonna be a one hour practice. Thanks so much for tuning in with me here. Let's get started. Remember that the high quality commercial free replay is gonna be available on omstars.com. So be sure to practice with me there. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And remember to join me this weekend for Backbending Basics, Saturday from 2 to 4. The details are on my website. It's a live workshop. Hey, Hungary. Hey, Italy. Hey, England. Hey, everyone. Let's roll out the mats and let's get started. Your leg. That's straight. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to Yoga for your pure for ah, I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to Yoga for Pure Joy and a Happy Heart. Let's come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes and we'll initiate the space of practice with the sound OM, which is the holy vibration. Keeping the eyes closed for a moment, let your hands drop down to any comfortable position. Feel your breath moving in and out of the body. Feel the body itself and just notice how your body feels. Check in with the quality of your mind and your emotions. Recognize any tension, any tightness, restriction that might be there physically, mentally, emotionally, and just acknowledge it. Don't run away from it or fight it, just acknowledge it. Then allow yourself a long, steady, deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's open the eyes and we can begin slowly inhale bring your arms out to a t-shape and we'll begin with just some light shoulder mobilization so let's do the little shoulder rolls forward and we'll just keep rolling the shoulders and just keep it relatively easy a few times and feel the chest lifting up as this shoulders roll open forward, 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 and then stop, and let's switch directions. Go back, and just keep working the arms inside the shoulder joints. Keep it nice and easy, steady breathing, and back to the center, flatten the palms out. Let's hold that for five breaths. Steady your breathing and expand the chest, and just keep it nice and easy. Nice and easy. You can just wiggle maybe up and down the arms a little. Just feel a little through the shoulders and big push. And then exhale, let's drop it down. Okay, let's shake that out for a moment. And then we're gonna just release the wrist. So give me your hand flat and out in front. Take your left hand and hold the palm and just press it down. And we'll hold that for a couple breaths. Releasing through the wrists, almost there. And then let's go for the other side, your hand forward, and then just reach it down. And really targeting the wrist here, nice and easy. Next, we're gonna work on the neck. And just go through the body with some light, easy joint mobilizations. And then exhale, slowly drop it down. Again, arms out to the side, point the fingers down this time, reach over to the right side, and head pops over to the left. We'll hold that there for a couple breaths. Nice and steady, keep breathing. Back to the center, press over to the left, drop the head and just nice and easy, work through the neck, any tension you might feel, stay with it for a moment. Back to the center, 
big press through the heels of the hands and then exhale drop it down just shake out the shoulders for a moment and lean over to the right side inhale just lean over and we'll stay for a couple breaths feel the rotation through the shoulder as you lift the spine up out of the pelvis and we'll just stay here breathing feeling keep the mind nice and steady breathing feeling and we're going to add in the rib cage so i'm keeping the ribs in right now let's add in the rib cage and if it's comfortable for you, you could even drop the elbow a little down and let's add the rib cage in and just staying there for a couple breaths two three keep breathing four almost there five inhale come on back up to the center exhale there inhale over to the left exhale stabilize from your pelvic floor inhale extend the right arm roll through that external rotation and reach long deep steady breaths keep the mind nice and calm keep breathing keep reaching and drop the elbow down and move your ribs away from the hips. So now you involve your rib cage in the lateral stretching motion. We'll just hold it that there for a moment. Reaching, breathing, reaching, breathing, and inhale back to the center. Okay, let's shake that out for a moment. Check in with how your body feels. Now let's expand the center of the chest a little bit. So feel your breath rising up as your chest pops up and forward. Taking your hands, your fingertips behind you, point the fingertips towards the pelvis, and then inhale, lift the center of the chest. We'll stay here for a couple breaths. You can engage your legs just a little. One, two, if it feels comfortable for you, you can even flatten the hands back and just keep expanding the chest. Three, four, nice and easy, five, inhale, slowly come forward, and exhale, lean straight forward from where you are, and we'll stay again for a couple breaths. Just feel the hip joints externally rotating, your spine releasing, and wherever you get to, let it be all right, there's no force. No fights, just feel your breath and your body. Enjoy the movement. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale there. Cross your feet underneath you. Slide over the shins. Walk your knees back and then exhale back to child's pose. And just hold child's pose for a couple of breaths. So your knees spiral towards each other. Hands reach out in front. Allow your back muscles to soften and release as you drop down. And again, just staying here, feeling the breath and the body. Whatever thoughts are rolling through the mind, don't try to stop them. Just observe, thinking, and then come back to the breath in your body. Notice the emotional charge that might be present. And then inhale, let's lift the head up. Open your knees and we'll work on the wide child's pose. Exhale, your chin or your forehead down. Find what's more comfortable for you. And again, we'll stay for about five breaths. Stay here feeling, breathing, feeling, breathing. Keep the mind steady and calm. Nice and easy. And inhale, glide all the way back up. Exhale, stabilize and settle there for a moment. Keep your breath nice and easy. Then orient your chest a little bit over to the right. And exhale, fold your chest over the right leg and we'll drop just a little down. Stay here for a few breaths in a very light side movement with the body. Keep breathing, keep feeling. Nice, steady breaths, just letting your hip joints slowly wake up. And inhale, come all the way back up and exhale, stabilize. So we sit again, the knees a little wide, turn slightly over to the left and then exhale, fold your chest down towards the thigh and settle in. 
So feel again your breath, your body, just notice what you feel. There's no need to try to manufacture anything other than what's real in this moment. Release your resistance to what is. Underneath the seemingly ceaseless train of thoughts, there is a space of pure breath, of pure awareness. And our training here is to get more and more grounded in that. Inhale, let's come on back up. Stabilize your spine for a moment. Point the knees back to about hips width apart. Then walk your hands forward and let's start off in tabletop position. Find your tabletop pose and we'll hold this for about five breaths. One, two, grip your fingertips, root down through the heels of the hands. Three, try to keep the spine in a relatively neutral position. Four, and five, push your weight over onto your left hand and inhale, lift the right arm up. Again, getting that rotation through the torso, press into the left hand, and then exhale, thread the needle under. So just roll through the right shoulder, dropping the right shoulder towards the ground, and then extend the left arm. And again, we'll stay here for a couple breaths, rolling through the neck, Softening through the neck, softening through the shoulders. Deep, steady breathing. Take a moment and just feel where you are, feel what is. Notice if there are sensations that you might be running away from. Is it difficult for you and you want to run away from that? Do you judge your body? What's going on? Is there anxiety and you want to push that away? See if you can just drop all resistance and just be with what is in the pure, naked vulnerability of what is. Press into the left hand and then inhale, come back up to the tabletop position. Settle here for a moment and again, watch the neutral spine. Press into the right hand and inhale, get that rotation through the torso, lifting, reaching, and then exhale, thread the needle with the left hand to drop it down, press a little more into your left knee and then extend the right arm over. And we'll hold this for a couple breaths. Try not to push too much into the left, but just a little weight over to the left so that the feet can stay aligned with each other. And again, notice the quality of your emotions, the quality of your breath, what happens in this moment of presence, what happens as you're here now, not running away, not feeling anything other than what you feel just here and now. And then walk your right hand back, press into the right hand, and inhale, walk it back up to tabletop position. Then let's roll through cat and cow. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, round, pull it under. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, round, pull it under. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, round all the way under. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round and under. Walk your hands forward and now the puppy pose. Keeping your hands slightly more narrow than shoulder width apart. Making sure that the shoulders externally rotate. Take the forehead towards the ground and drop through the chest, coming up onto the fingertips. We'll stay here for five breaths. One. Two. Steady breathing. Three. Four, feel the chest expand. Five, take the hands down, let's lift the head up. And this time we're gonna really work the upper back. So reach your chest forward, forward, forward. And maybe you can reach your chest towards the ground. Maybe, but maybe not. And we'll stay for about five breaths. One, soften the neck, but keep the neck extended. Two, three, steady breathing, four, almost there, five. Press into the elbows. 
dropping the chest down, point the feet, coming up onto your elbows for cobra pose. Five breaths here, soften the glutes. Lift the center of the chest up and watch the position of the elbows. Your elbows should be in front of the shoulders and the ribs lifting away from the hips. Steady, deep breathing. Keep the mind nice and calm. And let's curl the toes under, walk your hands back, come back to your tabletop position. And from tabletop position, we're gonna come on up to downward facing dog. So inhale, send the hips back and up, and then let's work downward facing dog. Feet shoulder width apart, hands shoulder width apart, feet hips width apart, the navel drawn deeply into the inner space of the pelvis to Three, steady breathing, four, and five. Let's switch your gaze forward. Inhale, step your right foot forward, coming forward into a lifted lunge for a moment so your hips stay square and keep the hips off the ground just for a moment. Stay there working the strength of the legs and now we're going to rise up press into the legs inhale for this lifted lunge raise the arms above the head and try to keep your body real stable nice and easy raising through the chest and then exhale let's take the hands down inhale we're going to step back to plank pose so inhale come on back to full plank with the knees straight pressing up through the shoulders then, nice and easy, we're going to come all the way down to the ground. Inhale, now upward facing dog. So start to elevate the chest, then roll over the toes, straighten the legs, and expand the heart center as you lift up. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Stay downward facing dog for a moment, and we'll do the other side. Inhale, step the left foot forward, straightening out the right leg. Come onto your fingertips. And just keep it real stable here. Draw the navel in. And then inhale, rise up. Feel the strength through the legs. And then inhale, raise the arms. Nice and easy. Steady breathing. Lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Keep the body real stable here. And then exhale, let's drop it down. Inhale, come on back to plank. Find your plank position. Let's hold plank five breaths. One, two, pitch the shoulders a little forward. Three, four, keep breathing nice and easy. Five, let's bend the elbows, come on down. Inhale, roll over the toes. Upward facing, long, deep breath in as you lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Exhale, roll back through the toes, downward facing. From downward facing now, switch your gaze forward. Let's walk your feet half the distance towards your hands. Soft bend in the knees. Layer your arms over each other and rest your head on your forearms. Then inhale, send the hips back and up. We'll stay here for five breaths. Just take the time to feel the body. Notice any places of tightness. Notice your reaction. Notice the feeling inside the body, how it all feels. Keep the mind steady, calm, inwardly focused. And again, a soft bend in the knees. Reach the hands down. Let's hold on to the big toes. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale there for a moment, draw the navel in. Again, inhale, long, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Nice and easy, keep breathing. Steady the mind, keep breathing. Leaning a little forward, almost there. And straighten the arms as you inhale. Exhale, come on to the fingertips. Let's walk your feet together. Soft bend in the knees and then deepen it, deepen it, deepen it. Squeeze your knees together as you squeeze the knees together. Then slowly lift your chest up, hands in prayer for Utkatasana. 
One. Squeeze the knees into each other. Two. Three. Extend your arms. Four. Almost there. Keep breathing. Five. Take the hands down. Keeping your knees bent. Step your left leg back and exhale. Right knee stays over the right ankle and left knee on the ground. Point the left toes. Then stabilize here for a few breaths. Dropping over to the left side. Let's look behind. And again, just hold it nice and steady. Feel the ribs lifting away from the hips. Take a moment. Feel the body. Enjoy the moment. And then inhale. Come on back to the center. An easy twist. So press into the left arm and inhale. Just easy twist over. And extend through the spine, reaching up. Try not to go beyond, just stay in line with the shoulder. Nice and easy, keep working, keep feeling. Almost there, and exhale. Slowly orient back to the front. Press into your right knee and inhale, back to Utkatasana. Press into the legs. Hands in prayer. Inhale, extend the arms. We won't stay as long this time. Exhale, take the hands down. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale. Step the right knee back, right leg back, right knee on the ground. Just let it drop down. Point the right toes, press into the right hand and then exhale, drop and spiral down through the front of the right hip. And just take a moment here and feel what you feel. Places of resistance, places of tightness may pop online. There is an urge to fight them. Try not to fight. Instead, just experience what is. Hmm, resistance is there, tightness is there. Make peace with where you are. And then inhale, come back up, align your right hand with the left foot, and then easy twist, reach up, spiraling through the rotation of your thoracic spine, which is the rib cage, gazing up to the left fingers, nice and easy. Mind is calm, stabilize the pelvis by engaging the pelvic floor, gazing up to the left fingers, nice and easy. Exhale, let's take the left hand down. Now we're gonna step back to plank position. So inhale back to plank. And again, let's hold plank for a couple breaths. Two, three, keep leaning a little forward. Four, and five. Exhale, let's sink the knees down to the ground, point the feet, and then exhale. Let's bring the elbows down into the forearms, onto the forearms. We're going to step back to the dolphin pose. So nice and easy. Step the right leg back, step the left leg back, and let's begin in dolphin plank. So we'll hold this position for a couple of breaths, keeping your elbows at 90 degrees, and we'll hold it five breaths. One, you can look down at the toes, just to make sure the neck is nice and long. Three, four, squeeze your glutes together. Five, sink the knees down. Exhale back to child's pose. Stay child's pose for a moment. And then inhale, let's lift the head up, planting the elbows down. And this time, keep your feet closer in and we'll go right up into dolphin pose. Draw the ribs in, drop the head down, gaze towards the knees. Make sure that the feet are lined up with the spine so that they're really along the central axis. Your knees squeeze towards each other and then slowly engage the pelvic floor, round the back a little and inhale, stand your legs up. Walk in to a comfortable distance, keeping the balls of the feet on the ground. And then if your forward bend allows you to, you can shift forward onto the top of the toes. When you do, you really have to press with the shoulders to counterbalance. And wherever you get to, if you're hanging out down here or if you're all the way forward on the toes, it's all good. And just stay for a few more breaths, lifting the hips nice and high. Pelvic floor is really drawn in. And then exhale, sink the knees down. And we release the shoulders now in child's pose. So drop the shoulders forward. Steady breathing. 
mind enters a quiet, soft inner space. And inhale, lift the head up. Let's walk the hands forward. And inhale, back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, we're gonna make the transition to the three-legged dog. So point the right foot and just rest it on the ground for a moment. And then inhale, send the leg back and up. We'll stay here for about five breaths. Then press from the shoulders like you're trying to push all your body weight back and up through that right leg and try to keep the hip square forward so you don't wing it out to the side. Maybe just one more breath and then exhale. Let's settle that right foot on the ground. Point the left toes and then inhale, three-legged dog, nice and easy. Pressing through the shoulders and lifting back and up. Keep it nice and stable. Pressing through the shoulders, draw the navel deeply in. Mind is nice and calm. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching. And exhale, drop it down. Then inhale, step your left foot forward. Spin around to the front for the wide leg forward fold. Come up onto your fingertips. Inhale, lift the head up. Stay there. Breathing, feeling, and exhale. Walk your left fingers forward and then lift the center of the chest and raise the right arm up and spiral through that full rotation of, again, your thoracic spine. Expand the center of the chest as you reach powerfully up. Steady breathing. Mind is calm, the navel is in. Reach up and exhale, drop it back down. Check your right hand, line it up with your center line. Inhale, send the chest forward and then exhale. Inhale, spiral and reach. One, don't wing out the shoulder, really recruit the rotation of the spine. Three, Four, keep breathing. Five, inhale, lift the chest and exhale. Inhale, rise up, exhale, hands to your waist. Inhale, expand the arms, exhale again, hands to the waist. Inhale, lift the center of the chest and then exhale, pivot again, fold forward taking the hands on the ground, lining the fingers up with the toes, and keeping the hands shoulder width apart. Inhale, lift the chest up, deep breath, and then exhale, pivot forward and down. So just lean your body weight gently forward. One, make sure the heel's a little wider than the toes. Two, lifting the sitting bones lightly, drawing the navel in, three, Four, steady breaths. Five, inhale, lift the head up and exhale there. Now lean over to the right side so you can really, again, just extend the left arm and come up so you're perched on the ball of your right foot and hold it up here for a moment. Stabilize through the left side. Nice and easy, steady breathing. Draw the navel deeply in and then fold slightly forward, placing the elbows on the ground, potentially sitting down, extending through the left leg as much as possible, then spiral down and extend. So it's almost like a different version of the gate pose or parigasana. And you can stay here feeling as deep as you want to take it. It's pretty intense on the left leg. That is all right. It's all good. Slowly back to the center on an inhale. Exhale, sit your hips down and then drop your right knee towards the ground. And now we move into Janushirsasana A. So find the external rotation of the right hip joint. Reorient your torso. So the torso is elongating towards the left side. Inhale, long, steady, deep breath in. 
exhale, pivot forward. Stay there for a few breaths, nice and easy. Dropping the chest down. Dropping the chest nice and down. Steady breaths. Two. Draw the navel in. Three. Four. Steady breathing. Five. Inhale. Let's lift the head up and exhale there. Now for a lifted version of the Parigasana pose, come on up so that you can press your weight into the right knee, drop your right hand out to the side, and then extend, and we'll hold for a couple breaths. You can stay on the fingertips, you can rest your hand down, totally up to you. Long, deep breaths, feel the length through the left side body. Take a moment, your chest is expansive. Draw the navel deeply in, and we switch the sides. Inhale, come on up, and then exhale, lean over towards the other side. Steady breaths. Lift the chest away, keep breathing, and inhale back to the center. Curl your right toes under, and then inhale, come on back up to your wide leg forward fold position. Exhale, drop through the left side. So we begin with elongating through that right inner thigh. Hold for a couple breaths and then just slowly sink down. First, dropping the elbows down, nice and easy. Might be a little intense on the inner thigh. Don't hit it too hard. If you can't reach the floor, you can grab some blocks and place the elbows or your hands on some blocks eventually. Sitting the hip down, dropping through that right shoulder or keeping the right arm straight. We're going to lean gently over to the right side. Inhale, lean gently over to the right. And again, this is a version of Parigasana or the gate pose. Strong, steady breaths and expand from the center of the spine all the way out through the fingertips. One more long, steady, deep breath in and inhale and back to the center. Exhale, drop your left hip down, orient forward towards the right side so your chest stays lined up with the right side. Inhale, long, steady, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Nice and easy, deep breathing. Calming the mind, turn your attention inward and keep working that space around the pubic bone. Working that space around the pubic bone. Drawing the navel in, steady deep breaths. Keeping the mind calm, inwardly focused. Inhale, lift the center of the chest and exhale. Now you're going to come up onto the left knee, aligning the foot over. And when we lean to the side, you can stack the right foot out, taking the left hand in line with the left knee. And then inhale, roll through the external rotation and reach, reach across the right side body. Nice and easy. Deep breaths. You can gaze towards the right fingers. Just take a few moments and feel. Inhale slowly up. Now we go to the other side. Slowly reach. And now your foot can change a little position as it feels more comfortable for you. Lifting, working the side body stretch. Almost there. Feel, enjoy the moment and inhale. Come on back up. Curl the left toes under and again, back to your wide leg forward fold position. Widen your legs a little bit. Then inhale, come up. Turn the right hip joint out and sink down. Pull both your thigh bones back and warrior two. Stay for a couple of breaths. Avoid this kind of warrior two, which is a little too groovy. Drop that hip right under you and gaze to the right fingers. Doing really well. Just keep breathing. 
Keep breathing. We're going to do the reverse warrior next. So just gently drape your left arm down, maybe hugging your thigh or even reaching around to the right thigh and then just lean gently back. No need to hit it super hard. Just feel a light side body stretch. Find the breath, find the length, find the joy of the moment. Let the posture be enough to concentrate the mind at this one moment. Then drop down and inhale, come up. Let's turn it around, pop it over to the other side. Exhale down, watch your hips, right? So just watch the hips, both hip joints spiral back. You're avoiding any hiking of the hip and just keep it under. Then let's look to the left. Stabilize, deep breathing. Feel the breath and the body in this moment. Keep the navel drawn in and now feel the legs. Really don't be afraid of getting down into the legs. Just don't drop your pelvis below the knee. Then slide down, maybe holding on to your left thigh, maybe just leaving it draped down there. And then inhale, reach across. And gazing upward, we'll just hold this nice and steady. Deep, resonant breaths, pressing down through the legs. Just a light side body stretch. No force, no tension that is not necessary to hold the body there. So a little bit of activation of your muscles is good, but no unnecessary tension. Exhale, drop the left hand down. Turn your chest forward and inhale back to plank position. Find plank, give me five breaths in plank. One, two, keep working the shoulders. Three, four, and five. Let's drop the knees down, grab your yoga blocks, and let's place the blocks underneath the hands. You place the blocks underneath the hands. It's gonna give you a little more height in your plank position. So use the blocks, nice and steady here. And then let's use that height. Inhale, drop the right knee into the chest as you pivot forward. One, two, three. Steady breaths, four. Step it back, left side. One, two, really press up from the shoulders. Three, four, step it back. And exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, enjoy the extra height from the yoga blocks. Exhale, downward facing, let's do it again. So let's bring the feet together. Inhale, come forward to plank position. Exhale there, inhale, slide that right knee in and pitch the shoulders forward. One, two, three, keep breathing, four, and five, step it back, left side. One, two, keep breathing. Three, four, you can do it. Five, okay, exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, press your shoulders forward over the hands, cross your feet, and then let's sit the hips down. Okay, let's slide those blocks back, and we're gonna work a little bit of lift up strength, okay? So we'll be pivoting forward and back from different versions of Navasana, so this should be pretty fun. First one, we'll keep it easy. Point your feet, keeping them on the ground, and take your hands to the knees and just interlock the fingers. Feel the core muscles really turning on, and we'll stay here for a couple breaths. Nice and easy, just keep feeling it. Send the chest up and forward. One more breath. Okay, let's cross the feet. Take your hands on the blocks, and just shift your chest forward. And then, as you straighten the arms, send the hips back and up. And then exhale, sit it down. Now, this time, let's keep the knees bent, but take the feet off the ground. Lift the chest, but keep the lower back slightly curved under. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, almost there. 
five, cross the feet again, lean the chest forward, and then again, hips back and up. This time, see if you can take one foot or the other foot off the ground, exhale, let's sink the hips down, and now point the feet, inhale, come up, maybe all the way up. Hold for five, one, lift your chest, two, enjoy your Navasana, three, Whatever you get to, whichever version you're working, it's all good. Four and five. Cross your feet, take your shoulders forward, and then inhale, press, and maybe your feet are off the ground, and maybe not. Let's exhale, settle that down. Okay, let's move your blocks over to the side, nice and easy. Now, cross your feet underneath you, slide forward, and inhale back to plank pose. Find your plank position. Exhale, bend your elbows. Come on all the way down. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Stay in downward facing just for a moment. Keep the mind nice and calm. Switch your gaze forward, then let's step the feet forward and exhale, sink the hips down, straighten the legs out in front, flex your feet, fingertips on the ground, inhale, lift and expand the chest. We'll hold this for five breaths, one, deep, steady breathing, two, Three, keep it nice and easy. Four, and five. Lean forward and you can take the fingers on the ground or onto the shins, or maybe hold on to your big toes. Find what's comfortable for you. And shift a little over so you can pivot more into your hip joint. Shift a little over and pivot into the hip joint. Inhale, straighten the arms, long, deep breath in exhale fold and just listen to where your body takes you one steady breaths we'll be here five breaths paschimottanasana turn your attention inward feel breath body mind all coming together four one more breath five inhale lift the head up exhale there inhale rise the chest up and bend your knees then take the hands behind you and this is a modified version of the reverse plank pose so send the shoulders forward point the fingers forward and then inhale send the hips forward and up and dropping the head back when you're ready. You can squeeze the knees together, or if it's too uncomfortable, you can separate the knees. Stay there for a moment, chest rises up, and exhale, sink it down. Come up for a moment, and drop the head down. We're gonna try that reverse plank one more time, and this time you can accept the invitation to straighten the legs or not, it's totally up to you. Purvatanasana, eventually your legs are totally straight, but if you feel that your lower back is taking the brunt of the posture, you're gonna bend the knees a little bit. Don't worry if your feet touch the ground or not, the heels on the ground is all you need. Activate your thigh muscles, take the hands back behind you, roll the shoulders forward, elbows towards each other, navel is in towards the spine, and then inhale, hips up. Expand the chest, two, three, deep breaths, four, almost there, five, exhale, let's drop it down, then, Cross your feet, so take the feet underneath you, and slowly glide forward. Left leg behind you, right leg behind you, up to plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, come on down. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, let's work a squat position. So take a wide leg position, then exhale, drop the hips down. So really work through the pelvis, steady breathing. 
Lift the chest up and pivot a little forward. We'll stay here for five breaths. One, deep, resonant breaths. Two, three, lifting the chest up. Four, and five. Drop the head down, take your fingers forward, press into the legs and walk them in. Bend through the knees and hug the knees into each other for a moment. Then inhale, lift the chest and exhale, twist over to the right. So twist your Utkatasana now. And you can drop the pelvis or keep it a little elevated. Hands in prayer, stabilize through your collarbone. Two, three, enjoy. Four, almost there. Five, inhale to the center. Stabilize for a moment, your thighs are burning. It's okay, don't break, you can do it. Slowly come up, exhale, twist over to the left. Slowly engage your quadriceps. Three, deep breathing, four. Expand the chest, twist the spine, five. Inhale back to the center, open up, back to a nice deep squat. Hands back to prayer. Now, we're gonna prepare for the posture called Bakasana position. So squeeze the knees onto the shoulders, activating your inner thighs, taking the hands on the ground, slowly come up onto the balls of your feet, and then press the knees close to the armpits as possible, either staying on the outside or coming up on the inside. Pitch your shoulders a little forward, round the back, and then one foot and the other foot comes off the ground, press into the shoulders. Two, three, find your bakasana. Four, almost there, don't push it too hard. Five, open the feet, come back down, pause for a moment, press into the shoulders, and inhale back to plank position. Find your plank, nice and steady. Exhale, bend your elbows, come on down. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Downward facing, stabilize here. Keep your mind steady and calm. Switch your gaze forward, drop your knees towards the ground, and then slowly inhale, lift the center of the chest up, stabilize through the pelvis, expand the chest. Keep it nice and easy, deep, steady breathing. Then inhale, rise gently up. Inhale, expand the chest up, dangle your arms behind you. Interlock the fingers and send the chest up and forward. Five breaths. One, deep breathing. Two, chest rises up. Three, nice and calm. Four, almost there, steady breathing, five, inhale, lift the chest all the way back up, exhale again, knees together, child's pose, drop the head gently down, soften the shoulders, mind is calm and steady, deep breaths, Inhale, lift your head gently up. And exhale, let's slowly lie down on your back. So roll through the spine as you lie all the way down. Then stack your feet so they're a little wider than your hips width apart. And we'll go for the simple bridge pose. Take the hands on the floor near your feet and then spiral the knees a little bit towards each other and inhale, lift the hips up. As you lift the hips up, roll the shoulders underneath you. Interlock your fingers and lift the hips up. Five breaths. One, deep breathing. Two, keep the hips nice and high. Three, 
four, almost there. Release the hands, exhale, come on down. Okay, we'll go for a little variation now. Are you ready? Slowly inhale, lift the hips up, reach under, interlocking the fingers, and press into your right leg, bringing in a little more into the center, and inhale, lift the leg up. Ooh, I know it's a lot for that right thigh. Exhale, drop it down. And again, inhale, lift the hips, press into the left leg, you can keep it bent or straight. Hold it for a moment and exhale down. Return to your simple bridge. And exhale all the way down. Drop the spine down. Layer your hands on the body here for a few breaths. Nice and easy. Mind is calm. Then grab your yoga block. So one yoga block. Press into the elbows, spiral the block behind you, just reach it around behind you, knees towards each other, lift your rib cage over the block and drop the head gently down. Find the comfortable position with the arms, elbows can gently come in and extend the legs and we'll hold this for a couple breaths. This could be pretty intense, just hold it here. Breathing, feeling, if it's too much for the arms to be up, your arms can be dropped down. Just feel the chest releasing, the heart opening, the mind calming down. Take a moment to breathe and to feel. And remember, if the arms are up, you keep the elbows towards each other. Keep it nice and stable for a few breaths. Just feel the breath body as it moves in and out, in and out. And let's bend the knees, press into the elbows and inhale, come on up. Then roll the spine gently down, come on back down. Grab your block, move it on over to the side and draw both knees up into your chest and give yourself a relatively deep squeeze here. Steady, deep breaths. Let the mind really drop down. Inhale, extend the legs. Straighten the legs. Again, hands rest anywhere that's comfortable for you for a few breaths. Nice and easy. Feel the blood and circulation equalizing through the body and then exhale, drop the left leg down. Hold under your calf muscle and drop it into your chest. No need to hit it super hard, but just be here for a moment, so keep it nice and steady. Just find where your body naturally goes to, then reach your left hand over towards the foot and spiral over. Nice and easy. And just hold it there for a moment. Keep the breath calm, mind calm, inhale slowly back to the center, exhale switch, your left leg up, feel what you feel, no need to yank it in too far, just let it be where it is, draw the navel in, stay there for a few moments, then glide that right hand up towards the left foot and then spiral over. And just stay here for a moment. Calm and steady. Inhale, back to the center, bend your knees, rest, constructive rest position for a few moments, your feet a little bit open, the knees towards each other, sacrum resting on the ground, mind calm for a few breaths. Then exhale, extend the arms and legs, come to a complete rest. 
Notice the quality of your breath. Feel your breath in and out of the body. Feel the body itself and notice how your body has changed. Notice the quality of your thoughts and your emotions. Notice how the edge is just softened. Every yoga practice builds your sense of inner peace and inner calm, a stable base and inner sanctuary underneath that seemingly endless stream of thoughts, there is a seed of joy, of love, and of kindness. Tune into that now. And then allow yourself a long, deep breath in. As you exhale, move your fingers, toes, hands and feet. Bend the knees and the elbows. Stay there for a moment. Inhale as you draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze in. Exhale over to the side. Inhale, come all the way back up. Keep the eyes closed for a few moments. Hold the elbows behind the back. Long, steady, deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward, drop your head down. We'll be here for about five breaths. Feel the chest dropping down. Feel the mind calming down. Bringing the attention deeper into the inner world. Feel every breath moving in and out of the body. Then activate the pelvic floor and inhale, come all the way up. Exhale there. Let's take the arms out, open the hands, tips of the index fingers together. Stay here with the breath. Long, steady, deep breath in. Long, steady, deep breath out. Take time here to really steep in the atmosphere and the vibration of your practice, the atmosphere and the vibration of the inner world with slow, deep introspection, attention at the heart space. Hold yourself in the expansive blanket of metta, of loving kindness. Plant the seeds of friendliness towards yourself holding yourself in that field of love, kindness, healing. Feel the presence through the heart space of all your fellow yogis, everyone who's joining you on this practice now, everyone who will join this practice, and all yoga practitioners, holding them all in the vibration of love, compassion and healing and all beings all beings human and non-human all beings in the whole world hands together at the center of the chest may all beings be happy be peaceful be filled with love. May all beings live in harmony, in health, and in peace. Slowly let your eyes open, feel your breath, your body, the inner world changed, shifted to more peace, harmony, and happiness. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. Namaste.
Thanks so much for joining everyone. I really appreciate you practicing with me. And I hope you had a good, good practice. And I hope you feel a little bit of joy, peace, harmony in your life. And hi, Sophie. I am going to see you on Thursday at 1 p.m., Saturday 10, at 10 a.m. for Ashtanga. And 1 p.m. is a Backbend Basics workshop, so you should totally check it out. Otherwise, you can always find me on omsars.com. I will see you soon, everyone. Bye.